much, Kwesi Berema. I'm a member of PMI. I'm, a, I'm currently a ministry development assistant in the church. I joined PMI in 2011 when I finished my senior high school. I came to PMI with my mom as a naive young man, but today I have grown and developed learning a lot from my experiences in the church. I joined PMI because as a vibrant Christian back in senior high school, after senior high school, I was looking for a church because we had moved from our current location to, to Kolegono. So I was looking for a church to fellowship with, and my mom introduced me to Powerhouse Ministries International. And when I came, the ambience, the reception got me to stay. And as I continued in the church, I realized that there are several opportunities for growth and development in the church. So I, I was willing to, to join and, and help in various ministries. So, and in PMI, there are so many avenues for growth and development. So I joined as a prayer warrior, as, as a first timer. And also I went through the New Believer School, which is a 10 week course for new members of the church. And through the preaching, I realized that there's a place to stay because the teaching was, was good spiritually and also my interactions with the senior pastor, Pastor Bernard, got me to stay because he's more of a mentor, he's more of a, a father and a teacher. So it was a great opportunity to, to, to be in PMI. So when I joined PMI, being a youth, I had to find my colleagues and also mingle with them and see how we can come together as youth, as a youth fellowship in the church. So I met youth like Andrew Adiakwa, who is also my colleague. We also, I also met Sylvia, Thelma, and many other youth in the church. And being in the same age bracket, we came together to, to add to the various aspects of the church, especially in the youth ministry. I must say that I got my first job opportunity in the church where I was working and in the church office right after senior high school. So this gave me an opportunity to learn a lot about ministry activity and ministry work. Then I moved on to, to, to join the Youth Fellowship and I became the president of the Youth Fellowship. And we met on Sundays after church. We we'll meet after church, we we'll meet around 4 p.m. in the afternoon. And during those meetings, we're learning to grow spiritually and not just spiritually, also learning life skills. So we met with the various youth in the community to teach them and to teach ourselves about how to grow in the Lord and also how to grow to become God-fearing young men and women. We had various camp meetings where we had the privilege of having our senior pastor coming to teach us about how to grow and to groom us to become young men and young women who could face the world out there. So PMI has given us various opportunities to grow through the ranks and I've been a great beneficiary of, of these opportunities. So there are three major traits that characterize a, a minister in PMI. There's the trait of personal development. And when it comes to personal development, it has to do your, with your personal drive to reach for more and to do more beyond what you are taught. So personally, I read Christian books to also enrich my knowledge of the Word of God and also church administration. My own personal prayer life, my own personal quiet time is also important for the general welfare of the church. So these are things that I do personally. And secondly, we would also have to learn to reach to higher relationships. We don't, being a youth, a young man, I don't just minister to just young men. There are other people who come into the church. So there's a need for me to also learn how to deal with the higher relationships in the church. So personally, I've learned to be courteous, to attract higher relationships into my life. I've learned to assist the elderly so that together we, we, we function better in the church. So it's important that we reach for higher relationships. And also, the third skill is to realign your set skills for the next level. So as I grow in the church, I realize that I cannot continue doing the same things I'm doing. I moved from the sound department, the prayer warriors, now I'm into church administration. What are the new things that I have to learn? So right now I'm doing accounting. So it means that I have to also learn some accounting skills. I have to also learn public speaking. I have to learn other skills to augment. So I'm still in the process of learning, but um, 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 I must say that as you continue, we'll become better. It's really be a, been a great blessing being in PMI. 
because PMI is a place where the total human being, the total personality is catered for. So it's not just your spiritual life, which is very important and vital, but also your personal relationship with people, your interactions with others, and how you grow yourself, self-development and personal development, spiritual growth. So PMI is a place to be if you are looking for a church, if you want a place to fellowship with, I encourage you to come to PMI because it's a place where you are trained spiritually, physically, emotionally to face the world and the challenges that present itself out there. PMI is unique in the fact that it offers us various avenues for growth and development. No one is looked down upon. Your, opportunity, your talents are harnessed even at an early stage and you are groomed to grow through the ranks. So I must say that PMI offers various opportunities for growth and development. You can rise from being a cell leader to becoming a pastor. No one will stop you. Once you are willing and faithful to, to be there and to continue the work of the Lord, you, the, the opportunities are there. So that is one important trait that is open for anyone at all to, to, to make use of being a member of PMI. And also, very importantly, our engagement with the community. PMI is a church that is not just inward looking, we also look outward. So there are various interventions that we have. We have the Read for Life, where we try and get the cluster of schools around and help them in their reading, their writing for a brighter future. We have the Meal for Life, where we extend a helping hand to the hungry in the community. We have the H2O project, where we seek to the health and the hunger needs of the community. So PMI is a totally rounded church where we receive from God and we give out back to the community. And it's very important because Jesus taught us that we shouldn't just love ourselves, but we should love our neighbor also. And that is an important trait that characterizes PMI.